Everyone knows that there's a setting in GTA races called catch up, which enables those who are farther back to more easily catch up to the leader, unless you're driving the Tesseract, which is immune to the catch up effect entirely. But that's just one of the wild car facts that most GTA 5 players never knew or completely forgot about. Now we've already covered all 16 convertibles in a previous video, but I bet you can't name all 30 cars that have a sunroof in the game. Go ahead, pause, write them down. Ready? Okay. The cars that have sunroofs as stock goes as follows. The Aleutian, Ardent, Astro, Astrin, Astrin Custom, the Baller STD, Boar, Cavalcade XL, Entity MT, the Faction, Faction Custom, and Faction Custom Donk, the I-Wagon, Jubilee, Kanjo SJ, Landstalker XL, Neo, the Post Loot, which has crashed, the Rebel GTS, the Ruiner and Ruiner ZZ8, the Stratum is flying apparently, the Stretch, Surge, Swinger, Tygon, Vivanite, the Taco Van, which actually has four, and weirdly enough, the Dock Tug. The Toreador also has a sunroof, but it's also one of three vehicles that have glass on the lower half of their door. The dock handler also has glass on the lower half of his door, but only on the driver's side. There's no door on the other side. The last car with glass on the lower half of the door is the Dozer. However, the Fieldmaster is the only vehicle in the game to have a door that's entirely glass. The Cargo Bob is mostly known for its ability to pick up cars and carry them across the map. However, there are five other vehicles that have lifting capabilities like the Cargo Bob. The dock handler is used in story mode to pick up large shipping containers, similar to the cranes given the lifting function. The tow truck, which has a very limited version of this lifting motion, as it only picks up one end of the car, and it only picks up specific cars online. The dozer, however, picks up anything in its path, cars, signs, trucks, toilets, and people. But it isn't a very good getaway car. The forklift is just a limited version of the dozer, having a much lower weight capacity, but a higher top speed. Lastly, taking back to the skies, the Skylift is also used to pick up shipping containers, but only in the story mode. Airplanes are very limited for where they can take off and land, as there's only four official airports in the game. However, planes like the Avenger are equipped with VTOL, or vertical takeoff and landing abilities. This feature is exclusive to four planes. These include the Tula, which can land on water, and two jets in the Hydra and the newer, faster Raiju. Another quick way to take off an airplane is using JETO, or Jet Assisted Takeoff which is available on only seven planes. Again, the Avenger and Tula showcase here, as well as the Bombushka, Mogul, Pyro, Streamer 216, and the non-plane, the Thruster. In the first video of this series, we went over the seven cars that have sliding doors in GTA 5, but today, let's go over some more exotic types of doors. Starting with the Gullwing door, which is most commonly known on the Deluxo. Davey. But this luxurious style of door can also be seen on 15 other cars, from the Devastate 8, the Krieger, the LM87, the Osiris, the RA7B, the SADRR, the well-known Sterling GT, the Tesseract, the Tigon, the Toreador, the Tyrant, the Wagner, the Vigilante, and the X80 Proto. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Now the butterfly door is commonly confused with the scissor door, but a general rule of thumb is that the scissor doors go straight forward and up, while the butterfly doors go forwards, up, and outwards, similar to the Autark. These doors are fairly uncommon as there's only 14 of them in total, and they also include the Corsita, the Cyclone 2, the Infernus, the Neo, T20, the Torero and Torero XO, Tyrus, Virtue, Zeno, GP1, Vision, and the XA21. As previously mentioned, scissor doors go forward and up, but not out, and can only be seen on two cars in the game, the Infernus Classic and the Zentorno. Another door that is arguably the most unique door on this list is the dihedral door, which slides forward and up, similar to the scissor door, but staying on the same horizontal axis. This is also only available on two cars, and they are the Furia and the Ignis, which also includes the weaponized Ignis. Lastly, the door many people forget about is the hatch, which is only available on two of the tanks, the Rhino and the Kinjali. But let's put this video in park for a minute. There are 33,062 trees in GTA 5, and every one of them are indestructible. But out of 33,000 trees, which one is your favorite? Which one is the best? Well, I want to rank everything I can in GTA 5, and we've ranked 29 gas stations, 136 islands, 33 parking garages, and more. But now people want me to rank all 33,000 trees, which is my next goal. 
However, in order to give up my sanity and actually do it, I need 100,000 subscribers, and we're only 5% of the way there, so I'm not worried about my sanity at all. Hey, that's a, that's a big mistake. Anyway, kicking the video back into drive, you're probably wondering why I never talked about suicide doors or Rolls Royce doors. And that's because GTA 5 doesn't have any. Wait, no, I just got word there's two of them. But they aren't what you'd expect. They are the dock handler and the dump. A much more commonly known fact for most players is the fact that there are only 14 cars with hydraulics in the game. But not many know that not all of them came up with Lowriders or Lowriders Custom Classics DLCs, as those only include the Buccaneer Custom, the Chino Custom, the Faction Custom, the Minivan Custom, the Moonbeam Custom, the Primo Custom, the Saber Turbo Custom, the Tornado Custom, the Virgo Classic Custom, the Voodoo Custom, and the Slam Van Custom. The remaining three actually came out during the Los Santos Summer Special DLC, and they are the Glendale Custom, Manana Custom, and the Peyote Custom, which will be useful information for tomorrow's daily quiz over in my community tab. Quick speed fact here before we get into another big topic. There are only three vehicles in the game that have sonar abilities, the Toreador, the Avisa, and the Kosaka submarines, which can be used to find hidden treasure caches in the ocean. Now for some really interesting facts. Eh? Eh? Okay, yeah, bad joke, but let's just get on with it. Most vehicles in GTA 5 only have two axles. That's four. But there are only 19 that have three axles, most of which are quite large like the Barracks or Barrack Semi, or the Biff and both Brigades. Some are smaller like the Cara Cara and the Dubs to 6x6. The rest include the Dash on Bus and semi trucks like the Hauler, Hacker, and Phantom. The Pounder, RCV, Rubble, Scrap Truck, Terabyte, Tipper, Crashmaster, and the large Tow Truck as well as the Mixer are also on this list. Furthermore, only three vehicles have more than three axles, and they are the Mixer, again, however this Mixer has an extra set of tires, right up there. The Cerberus and the Chernobog also have four axles each. So, how many axles can you have connected in one chain? Well, if we take the four-axle Chernobog and connect it to the AA trailer, that makes six axles. But the tow truck hauling the Mixer makes a total of seven axles. If we hook the tow truck up to the Chernobog setup, it becomes untowable, so we have to think about it differently. The Barrack Semi and Army Trailer makes a total of six, but now it can be towed by the tow trucks, adding to a total of nine. But what if we hooked a bunch of tow trucks together making a train? Well, this setup here would have 15 axles, but it's also untowable. Now, many of these multi-axle vehicles have double back tires, but what about the vehicles that have double front wheels? Well, similar to the Suicide Doors, that belongs to only two vehicles, the Cutter and the Dock Handler. Lastly, did you know that there are 120 unique HUD icons in GTA Online? Well, I'm hoping to break them down and give you all sorts of crazy facts about weaponized vehicles next month. In the meantime, learn more facts you never knew by watching this video here. Are you clicking it? Go on, click it. Don't make me rank all the trees.